All right, I just got back into the country. Of course, I did see the news come over the feed, come over the wire about Israel um, and Iran is at each other's throats. Uh, whenever Trump decided to just back out of the, the nuclear deal, Iran has just came out over the wire and threatened to turn Israel into dust. Okay, now it starts. Now it starts. Now we got the big guns in the in the fight now. See, it's one thing for Israel to go over there and, and the bomb and the stone and the... No, they don't stone. The bomb and the rocket rocket bomb and, 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 and the grenade and, and take snipers and shoot protesters over there in Israel against the Palestinians who have nothing but rocks. But now you got Iran and they have more than rocks. And now they're threatening to turn Israel into dust. My advice, you be careful. Pastor Dow senses a draft coming because the time that we're living in now is ripe for a draft. I mean, literally ripe for a draft. I wasn't, I was only a young child during the Vietnam War. Um, and I tell you, the conditions on this earth right now, it seems to be ripe for a draft. Think about this for a second. I think if they're going to implement a draft, I think they should start with all the rich people children first. Draft every single one of them, male and female, all of them, college students and all. Draft them all. Then work your way down to the middle class and the lower classes. Let's see how fast they want to implement a draft then. You see what I'm saying? It's always the poor folks that go fight the wars for the rich, and the rich always benefits from it. What say you?